show ya Wish you made a call when you turn me on Go when you turn me on and you down this is Jazz. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on a new video. Today I'll be sharing with you all my kids Christmas wish list for 2021 and um, the purpose of the video is to share with you all what my kids are currently into as far as like clothing, electronics, games, books, you name it. And it's also to pretty much help you guys out in case you want to see you know what my kids like and maybe your child would like as well. So if you enjoyed today's video definitely give me a big thumbs up. And let's get into my kids Christmas wish list for 2021 before we hop into what the kids wanted for Christmas I did design and put together my daughter's list for her she's only a month old so she's not physically able to create a list of her own and Trey and Julian they both decided on what they wanted and you all will see their physical Christmas list in a separate video because I'm gonna show you how I plan to budget everything out and hopefully I can give you guys um, an overview of what they actually got and things like that. Um, really quickly, I like to put my children on a want, read, and need uh, concept for Christmas. So basically, they can get something they want, something that they need, and something that they can read, okay? Want, read, need, however you want to word it. But that's the concept that I, that I like to stick to because it keeps the children like grateful and you're not stacking a tree full of gifts that they're not going to use or it may um get misplaced and things like that i feel like when you put a child on something that creates character and also discipline it really helps the child to understand the true meaning of the holiday all right so um you will see Again, how I do the whole want, read, need on paper form because I will be bringing y'all some budgeting, okay? Let's go ahead and get into what Zara is getting for Christmas or expected to get from Christmas because, again, this is a wish list, okay? And I just pulled from the list something they want, read, and need. So for my daughter, I decided to pick out this seat and I have hardwood floors here at my house. So I figured whatever she does sit in or lay on, it needs to be soft. It needs to be something that can sit her up and things that can grow with her. All right. So the first item is a Fisher Price Sit Me Up floor seat. Um, it is in the style Pacific Pebble. Oh, Pebble is how you pronounce it. And it is a infant chair. And, um... I thought the price on this was actually pretty good, $39.99. So that's what really drew me to it. I'm like, yo, they got a seat, an infant seat for only 40 bucks. Like you can't beat that. So I really like the price on it. And I like the fact that um, it's something that will, you know, grow with her. So right now, obviously she's not sitting up. She's only a month old, but she will be before you know it. Cause I can't believe she's a month. <laughs> so yeah, it comes in a variety of patterns by the way. And the baby just pretty much sits in it. And um, I believe it has some teethers on there and it's uh, adjustable to where you can fold it down. So you can carry it with you. If you decide to go over to other people's houses to visit, you can have somewhere to sit your baby instead of having to hold the baby, the duration that you're over visiting. And I like how compact it is. You, it's easy to store. Um, it's easy, easy to put away is what I'm trying to say. So uh, you all let me know how you feel about the floor seat. I think it's pretty nice. I believe baby girl will enjoy it with the teethers on there. And it's comfy, supportive, and to help the child with their um, posture and all that. Um, yeah, let's go on to the next item. The next item that I have for baby girl is called the Splashing Kids inflatable tummy time premium water mat it comes with a mirror and rattles and it is an activity play center the reason why i chose the one that was made with water because my floors are hard with floors and i really want her to have things that are comfortable and she's not laying down on something and it's hard and um that's probably the only thing i do miss about having carpet in my house but anyway um this particular um tummy time mat is so nice it's a really nice activity center it encourages your baby to lift his or her head higher it has a rattle it has the little floating fish in it so the baby can lay on there and like squish the little fish that's inside of it um it has a rattle and it does have a exclusive mirror on there so the baby can see his or her face 
and it is just so cute. I said, oh my goodness, I really love this Tummy Time mat. Aside from the other mats that I've seen, they're flat. They have one layer, and I'm like, with me having hardwood floors, I definitely want her to have something with cushion and something that, you know, is fun and playful. I don't want her to have anything that she may not be really interested in, and I think that this would really draw a lot of attention to her. Like I said, it's got the rattle, the floating fish, an exclusive mirror, and um, I think she'll have a good time. So the tummy time mirror is so the baby can see his or herself, of course, the rattle for the baby to grab, and then it's got the extra large play areas. So um, I really like it. And not to mention, you can travel with this toy as well if you need to. Um, it looks like you have to fill it with water and add a teaspoon of vinegar so that the water stay clear. Going on to the next item that I had in mind for my daughter is the, it's a Koala Enfy Tummy Time Mirror. So basically this is an activity book. It has the crinkle pages, it's an activity book. Um, it's baby safe, 3D activities, texture soft, it has a teether on there. So basically you lay your newborn in front of the book and you can flip through the pages and point to the characters on there. It also has a mirror and I chose items that have mirrors because I always tell my daughter every single day how beautiful she is and I want her to physically see that with whatever she's doing, you know? So um, yeah, but it stimulates the baby's senses. It's good. It's, it develops emotional intelligence and fine motor skills which is what I wanted for her. I wanted her to have things that were um, very developmental since she's going to be, you know, growing each and every day. So anything that's toy related for her, I want it to be developmental. And um, like I said, it has the crinkling pages. It's Baby Safe Mirror. Um, it has, let's see, one image focus to avoid overstimulation. So you when you flip the pages, it has one particular picture for each page that you flip through. So that would be very nice as far as something that she, you know, that she can do as a, as a baby. <laughs> the next item that I put on the list for Zara is the Smart Noggin Non-Stick Developmental Light Up Rattle. This encourages developmental milestones as well. It's for infants up to 12 months and what drew me to this was that it's a rattle, but it's a developmental rattle. You know how you see some rattles and it's like all the all the baby can do with it is just shake it and that's it and maybe like chew all over it. But with this one, she can shake it and of course, you know, chew on it. But this one, um, it has a color changing head that lights up red, blue, or green. Um, so the head lights up to see and follow with eyes so the baby can look at the colors and follow the colors with his or her eyes so that's the purpose of the rattle head lighting up um the light activated by baby's battling hand so whenever she i believe touched the rattle it lights up um the little um the little dots that you see on the middle of it that's textures for filling um, the handle is great is a great size for grasping and the bottom of the rattle uh, Makes the sound for hearing and not to mention this has a mirror on the bottom of it so that she can see herself as well I just thought it was so cute. I love like Developmental things black and white things. I think that is so great for babies All right, so moving on to something that um, she needed um, she needed a robe and slippers and it's so crazy because when i went and bought her her bathtub i totally forgot to get her a robe with slippers and i definitely want her to have one the boys have one i have one um it's time for us all to get you know new things but i definitely want her to have her a robe with slippers so that she can be covered up and private and this is the one that i found online it says lovable friends unisex baby cotton terry bathrobe and it has fishes on there and um, has a little fish at the bottom of the robe and also a fish on each pair of the slippers and it's pink and white. So cute. <laughs> and last but not least, something that I wanted that I know we definitely would need is a bottle warmer. I do not have a bottle warmer and so this is the one that I found by uh, Tummy Tippy 
and it's a very affordable price now how well does it work we don't know <laughs> but it is a very affordable price because i know most for bottle warmers are on like a higher end they're like 40 50 60 things like that so for this one to only be 23 dollars, i'm like hmm i wonder how well does it work but anyway um it is a new martin let me make sure i get the name right i'm looking over on my laptop um new martin design tummy tippy easy warm bottle and food warmer so i would definitely want this so that i'm not radiating her bottles i'm not radiating her food jars whenever she starts you know eating solids and things like that which i personally want to parade her food so that she's eating like you know plant-based uh whole grain things is what i'm trying to say but we definitely need the bottle warmer so whatever i decide to put her food in whether i have my own little jars or her regular bottle i'm not overheating her food or her milk the first time i tried to warm her bottle up in the microwave i was like never again the milk evaporated and i had no idea that breast milk could do that it's like i pumped three ounces by the time i got it out real quick it was down to like an ounce and a half <laughs> so we not warming up a baby's bottle in the microwave learn my lesson i pump my milk fresh and give it right to her so yeah and that's going to take care of zara's christmas this year as far as something that i wanted for her something that she can read and do and something that she needed um and i'll explain like i said in part two how i'm going to break that down okay we're going to move on to my middle child starting from youngest to oldest so we're going to move on to trey and what he had on his Christmas list. So I'm gonna start off with him a jacket. He definitely needed a new jacket, coat or whatever. This one that you see on display on the screen, um, I'm not gonna order that one. I just put it on the list to remind myself that he needs a jacket. Um, and this is the kind of style that I would like for him to have. It's got the bubble coat on the outside and the fleece on the inside to keep him warm. So he definitely needed a jacket type coat, another one because he has one but it's kind of swallowing him <laughs> and i like this one a lot so if i don't find one in an actual store that i like that i can that i can go ahead and purchase this one online they do have one in green that i think he would like it's a very nice color and i think that'll look really nice against his skin complexion too um but i want to take him inside of target or the children's place or old navy uh somewhere to get him a jacket or coat and have him physically try it on in the store versus shopping online because i've never truly just bought clothes online and i don't know how true to size they are you know so yeah but he needed him a coat um the next thing on his list is to go along with these boxing gloves that I bought him. So Trey received some boxing gloves in his Halloween boot basket and um, he loves those gloves, okay? <laughs> so I figured to go along with that, um, he will really like this boxing stand. So the boxing stand is for um, ages three to 10. Um, boys and girls can of course use it. So if you have a daughter, I'm pretty sure you can click on here and find a certain color if you want it to be a certain color. But what it, what it is, it comes with the stand that the child can box. And um, it's, it's a great workout, stress relief, strengthen muscles, learn self-discipline, boost self-confidence. Um, and it comes with, let's see, the top quality ball at the top. Um, it also comes with comfortable gloves, two comfortable gloves. It has a sturdy base and um it has clear instructions on how to set it up and also it comes with an air pump so you don't have to worry like okay how am i going to pump it up or anything like that it comes with everything that you need and um yeah it grows with the child so it can be passed down to the other child a very good unisex toy <laughs> the next item on his list is a jetson scooter and it is in the color blue. I wish so bad I could have found it in the color green, but it's all good. Um, it, this particular scooter is called the Jetson Jupiter Kick Scooter for Kids. It's an LED light-up scooter with adjustable handlebars, um, a rear brake, and light weight. And this scooter is $29.99. Very nice price. Very nice price for a scooter. 
most scooters are 60 and 70. So this is a very nice price for a scooter. And considering that it has the LED lights, um, it is foldable. So you can pack it in your trunk and take it with you if you need to. And it comes in a variety of colors as well. What I like about the scooter is that um, it does have its four wheels, um, adjustable handlebar, it's foldable. I love the light ups on there, the different little light up wheels. And he definitely needed a scooter. He didn't have one, so he put that on his list. Something that Trey can read. Trey is into Cat and the Hat, but he's also into Pete the Cat books. So last year he got like Cat and Hat books. This year, um, he's with Pete the Cat, so just keeping it in the cat family. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's on his list. And this particular set says Pete the Cat Super Cool Reading Collection. There are five books in this collection that he can read, that we can read together. The next item on Trey's list are these wrestling toys. Um, Trey loves wrestling, loves karate, loves boxing, loves the Power Rangers. Anything that's like that, he loves it. He is all boy. So these are, um, this is a 32 piece wrestling toy set. Um, it comes with some fun little miniature action figures that are wrestlers. It has two rings and other little accessories that goes with it. So you have a stretcher, a chair, a trolley, a fence, ladder, uh, a desk belt. You have a fire extinguisher, all the little things that they have they have and that they use on um, wrestling. Very realistic looking. Um, it has the action figures, of course, and I know he would have so much fun with this. He has a wrestling ring right now, but the ropes on the ring are broke. <laughs> so when I saw this, I'm like, hmm, it comes with the action figures, the accessories, and also two rings. I think it's worth the buy. <laughs> the next gift is gonna cost a lot, okay? This gift, um that Trey wants is a Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, the cheapest that I found it, okay, so first things first is it's 199 at Best Buy. That's that's a really good price. Um I believe on Amazon, which is where I'm looking now, is ranging from the lowest is 200 up to $300. But I did check at a GameStop um location around the corner from where I stay and they have a pre-owned Nintendo Switch Lite for only $189. So that would probably be his most expensive gift if he was to get that gift. And to go along with the Nintendo Switch Lite, he wanted a game called Paw Patrol Mighty Pups. And um, he loves Paw Patrol. So that would be like his most expensive gift. Also, trade birthday is in January. So whatever he do not receive this Christmas, he can receive on his birthday. And that's why I like to put my boys on a want, read, need concept because I have Julianne and Zara's birthday before Christmas, then Christmas Day, and then after Christmas is Trey. So this just helps so that they can still get what they want, whether it's their birthday, Christmas, or whatever. So now we can move on to my oldest son, Julian. Julian had quite the list this year. Um, so starting out with him, he wanted a Fortnite game. It says the last laugh for Nintendo Switch. I don't know anything about Fortnite. He initially said he wanted a game called Among Us. When I read the description of that, I'm like, yo, you are not being taught to be an imposter or whatever it's called. Uh, you won't be able to get that game. <laughs> He's 11 years old. And I want him to be, you know, his 11-year-old self. But I still want to be very cautious with what he's playing and listening to. Because he's at the age, you all, where he a preteen, okay? So, y'all know what, what that means. So, but he picked out Fortnite, the last lap bundle. Again, I don't know what the game is about. Y'all let me know, okay? Um, and then the next game that he picked out is Minecraft for his Nintendo Switch. Both of those games are for his Nintendo Switch. And I know a little bit about the Minecraft. It's kind of like the Lego stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Um, speaking of Legos, he wanted Legos for uh, Christmas. So I had to physically type in Legos for boys ages 11 to 12. And this popped up. It says a Lego Speed Champion Chevrolet Corvette set. So it comes with two Corvette cars that he can put together. Um, it has over 512 pieces, which is great. Something to keep Julian extremely busy um, and just hands on. 
moving on to his next gift that he put on here are going to be is going to be um, a transformer car and I had no idea they made a police transformer car he was very specific about that he said mom I want a police transformer car I'm like okay <laughs> so this is the one that I found and I asked him was that the right one and he said yes it says transformers the last night premier edition um, deluxe barricade so basically this is a transformer car a transformer into a police car and that's what he wanted I don't know if it makes sounds light up or anything I think that he just likes the fact that he can transform it into the next thing <laughs> so and then I wanted to make sure that it was age appropriate that he's not getting something that's young that he's getting stuff that's big boy status Okay, so moving on to books. Julian is really into this dog man person. He loves the comics of this book. So he picked out Dog Man Unleashed. You all let me know if your kids are into that book or not or any of these things I just mentioned. Um, so that's one of the books that he picked out, Dog Man Unleashed. It's a graphic novel and um, it's from the creator of Captain Underpants. So he does like Captain Underpants as well. The next book that... I picked out for him because he said he wanted a book about bugs. So what I found for him is a book that says Ultimate Bugopedia, the most complete bug reference ever. And it has all the different stuff in there about bugs, leaf bugs, um, the way a bug is made, different just facts on a bug. He wants to be an etomologist, a scientist that studies bugs. And that's what he's been doing, studying bugs, you guys. I think it's dope. Like I gotta like really put my child in something that's going to capitalize on his goals because Julian is gonna be something great for real. Like all my kids are, and I speak that into us faithfully. But Julian, with the how articulate he is, is man, he's gonna do so great. The next thing that he wanted is this Transformer Autobot Squeaks. I don't know if this is like some type of transformer that's like super famous i have to go back and watch the transformer movie because i kind of remember autobot squeeze but then i kind of don't but this toy is 64 dollars already you guys i'm gonna show y'all how i'm gonna budget it out <laughs> because they have blown the budget this year i think all three of my kids together this year we looking at 800 plus dollars close to a thousand dollars so anyway um this is the Transformer MV5 Deluxe Earth and Weapons action figure. And it's called Autobox Squeaks. I don't know what it does. It transformed. It looked like into a wagon or something. And he just said that was a toy he always wanted. So I said, okay. Um, moving on, he needed a hat, scarf, and glove set. He needed one drastically. He got hats and gloves, but he's outgrowing them. So I found one that's black and white that says, dude. And I believe it's true to size. It says polo wear boys, knit hat, scarf, and glove set. And I think it's nice. Last but not least, um, on his list, I found him a gold scooter. That is Julian's favorite color. He loves the color gold. And um, and it's a really good price on this scooter, $57.99. And what I would like to do is find him and Trey both helmets. So I didn't put that on the list, but I would like to physically take them into a store where they can try it on helmets. I don't want to order it online and then it doesn't fit their head. But I think, you know, they would really love to have some helmets to go along with their scooter. But this one is um, suggested for ages 6 to 13 years old, um, from 4'1 to 5'7 as far as height, and it holds a child up from up to 220 pounds. Um, what else about the scooter? Let's see. Um... It has brake sensitivity, super smooth with the wheels and things like that. And yeah, I said, that's a really nice scooter. Um, so you all let me know, you know, um, what y'all think about what the kids wanted for Christmas. Last but not least, and I almost forgot, um, Trey didn't have like a whole lot of toys on his list. He just had the wrestlers. So, going back to Trey really quick, I did find this, uh, it's called a Nija Skate Park um, fingerboard for kids. So, you basically build the skate park and you use the skateboards with your hands to do tricks. 
and he already had some little miniature skateboards here at the house so i figured he would really enjoy this particular toy all right love so that's gonna include today's video i hope that you all enjoy seeing what my kids wanted on their christmas wish list for this year please stay tuned for part two i plan on showing you all how to budget a list so that your kids can get what they want for Christmas, something that they need for Christmas, and something that they can read if you choose to follow that concept, okay? Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Happy holidays. Bye, guys.